Opposition leader Mark Golding says it is his personal view and not that of the PNP that dual citizens should be eligible to sit as member of parliament. In guys, the issue of dual citizenship featured heavily in the aftermath of the September 2007 general election. The PNP went to court to have five JLP MPs, starting with Darrell Vaz in West Portland, removed from office on the grounds that they were dual citizens at the time of their nomination, hence ineligible to stand for office. When you hear who Mr. Kerry um, um, took, the, took, took the people to court, the PNP, of which the PNP of which Jefferson was a member of. Jefferson was a member of the PNP at that time. Jefferson was a member of the PNP when the PNP took the JLP members to court. Hmm? Mr. Golding says he believed that members of the Jamaican diaspora should have opportunity to sit in the parliament. When he said members, you know, guys, in our talk, in our talk, the people him over England and the people him over Canada, you know, don't get him wrong, you know, Alcott. Now get him wrong in you know, Alcott. When he said members of the diaspora, he's not referring to the members of England or Canada. You know. He's talking about the members from America. He's talking about the runaway comrades. The one that will run left Jamaica upon the five flight a day when Michael Mann is out of the country. The one them were over, over, over New York um, campaigning and bringing down Brand Jamaica. Those are the person Jefferson is referring to. Don't get it twisted in a Jamaican people. Don't get it twisted in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a um, labor rights. Jefferson is referring to the PNP people them over America. It looked like when he go over there with you, when he went over there to visit and to campaign and to beg donation, he promised them seat in the Senate. When he went over there last week to campaign, he promised the runaway comrades seat in the Senate. So he come back now and he put pen to paper and he claimed to say these are his views. I mean, no, I don't disbelieve him. I don't dis disbelieve um, uh, um, Jefferson. These are Jefferson views for truth. He did not consult with anyone in the PNP. He did not talk to his 14 MPs. He did not talk to the two persons on the committee. These are his views. Because when Jefferson went to Florida to beg offering, he promised the people in the diaspora to come into the Senate via, come into the government via the Senate. Yes, Alcott, the evidence is there. Because think about it. Think about it, labor rights. Members of the diaspora in England and Canada already sit in our parliament because they are part of the commonwealth. So now, Demi Mabatfa, he is specifically referring to the comrades in America. People like the Roop and the Rat. Those are the persons Jefferson is referring to. The comrade them over New York. The comrade them over Florida. The runaway comrades that run away from one of the five flights a day from Mike and Manley. Those are the person Katie, comrade leader, referring to when he put pen to paper and suggests that members of the diaspora should serve in our parliament. You don't tell me if I lie, me I tell. Yeah, we'll share up the live, guys. Tell me if I lie, me I tell, guys. When Mark G put pen to paper and write this, and write them a suggestion, yeah. Even nobody think about the comrades them in England or the comrades them in Canada. He was referring to the comrades in America. The one them who disgraced the country over, over New York. The one them who tried to bring down Jamaica in a New York. The one that we try to bring down the duly elected government in a New York. Those are the person that Jefferson is referring to when he put pen to paper. And Mark Golding says he believed that members of the Jamaican diaspora should have the opportunity to sit in parliament. Mark Golding, Mark Golding opposition leader, he was addressing the press conference. Now, tell me something, uno, 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 tell me something, Betsy. Tell me something, Betsy. Let's talk about this. 
When Mark Golding stood up at his press conference to address the country last Thursday, in what capacity did he address the country? When Mark Jefferson Golding stood at the, at the, at the, at the podium at his, at his press conference on Thursday, in what capacity did Mark Golding address the country? Anybody can type in the chat and tell me? Type in the chat one bright comrade or one bright labor right. Type in the chat and tell me on, on what capacity did Mark Golden address the country last Thursday. Because now Mark Golden is coming to tell us now. Because too Mark Golden knows the PNP people gullible. And Mark Golden knows the PNP people, PNP people don't read anything. And Mark Golden knows the lucky and his sheep and his servant and his yes man. Follow back at him, Sandra, and everything he said and believe. Him no, him no, him no, no push back from them. But because he's getting pushed back from the well-thinking Jamaicans, he come out and talk about it. These are his personal views. It cannot be your personal views, Mark Golding. It cannot be your personal views, Mark Golding, because you stood at the platform in the capacity of the opposition leader. In Sanjay, when he stood to address the country Thursday, he stood in the capacity of the opposition leader of the country, the highest paid politician. So how is it that no Mark Golden, Mark Golden really take Jamaica people fooling on Mark Golden? Mark Golden really, really take Jamaican people for fooling on people like Kenra, you know? 